Um, we got another comic coming to the stage. Welcome to the stage, Sylvia. I gotta pronounce this right for you. Turbokarst. Woo! That's great. <laughs> Hi. Well, I took early retirement. <laughs> so it's enabled me to connect with my creative side, if you could probably believe that. Um, and my, my friend just suggested that I should start blogging or vlogging <laughs> my um, life experiences. And I thought, well, you know, that's, that's a lot of work, you know. I just prefer flu vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So my husband says, you know, thinks I'm a kind of a happier person since I've been taking this uh, comedy course. But little does he know, I've been drinking vodka out of the cat bowl. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the cat, um, so I've been testing out my jokes with my cat Garfield, and I found out that he is a vicious, 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 <laughs> a vicious heckler, and I have the uh, the scars to prove it. <laughs> you know how when they bite and claw and wrap around your arm? Okay. Um, well, I grew up in the 60s, but not in the 60s that you would think about it. My family were very straight-laced. And as a teen, I would never be able to dress like this. Um, outside the house or in the house. So now, I'm able to sneak out of the house at night. <laughs> And look, I'm out <laughs> at night. <laughs> Ooh. And it's late. <clears throat> I have aphasia. Aphasia. Oh, you know what? That is just a fancy word for brain farts. And did you know that Bruce Willis also has that? So I kind of feel like a movie star. We have a connection. But you know, I'm wondering, maybe I should shave my head like him as well. So I love thrift stores. I love Virage. I love anything where I could buy outfits and clothes. But one thing I found out is that usually the, the size label is kind of, you know, worn off. Which is great because I'm wearing a size zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you never know what the size is. So I used to shop at Dress Sew. Is there any quilters, costumers, crafters in the audience? Dress so takes two blocks on Pender. Well, I spent so much money there. The, uh, the management, they locked me in the basement before I, I could, you know, until I could pay off my debt. But little did they know, it's like a candy store down there. <laughs> it, I'm, I'm wondering how, you know, crafters and costumers don't have um, diabetes from, <laughs> from uh, shopping there. So while I was down there, I had a lot of time to think and create, and I invented body shaping duct tape. <laughs> so it allows the ease, but it just holds it all together. And you know what? It's cheaper and better than Spanx. <laughs> so I'm a Zoomer hippie. 
you know what? I see some puzzled looks. You know, you never heard of a Zoomer hippie before. Well, maybe I can uh, term it differently. Hmm. How about a Bridgerton steampunk? <laughs> you know, it's really scary being a new comic on stage, you know. Now with the recent events, you're afraid of offending anyone and especially getting slapped with a lawsuit. <laughs> and I don't feel my age, definitely, but my liver does. So, <laughs> uh, nothing to do with my past life or lives, but you know, I have a nutritionist and she's awesome, but she's got me on a liver cleanse. But I don't know why I am craving fried green onions. Okay, that was so funny. <laughs> um, so I'm in, um, I'm in a meditation group, and it's, it's great. You get friendships and cohesiveness, and, you know, what I learned was that everyone, including myself, is either backed up, uh, <laughs> stuck up, <laughs> Or fucked up. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. It's okay to be that because we're human. And that's why we go to meditation. We do meditation groups. So there you go. So my hubby and 18-year-old son, they are just hooked on Brit Box. You know, the... Medit uh, murder investigation shows. Well, it's actually educational, and they're learning some survival skills as well. So, like, never break up with your lover on a boat away from the dock. <laughs> <laughs> and in the castle, in the drawing room, Never turn your back on that lover after you broke, them up, broke up because you'll get hit with an antiquity. <laughs> Probably covered with a doily. But what I'm really worried about is I just get the sense that they're plotting to... <laughs> plotting where to hide my body. Well, my friends, be kind to your spirit. And if this comedy gig shtick doesn't kind of work out for me, I'm just going to go two doors down and try pole dancing. <laughs> In flu bogs. <laughs> Thank you. Good work. Oh, she brought her purse up here. She doesn't trust the other comics. Yeah. <laughs>